Before SDS2 Connect can design connections in a Revit project, it must first initialize the project. To do this, simply click Initialize Project on the SDS2 Connect toolbar. During this initialization, SDS2 Connect will modify all the families that are currently loaded so end preparations can be accomplished. It will also prepare the setup information and load several families such as connection angle, plate, and bolts that will be used to create the connections. This process can take quite some time depending on the number of families and or elements in the current project. Since this can be a fairly time consuming process, it is suggested that you initialize any standard templates that you may use with the typical families already loaded. Then when you create a new project using that template, all the initialization is done already. Once the initialization has been done, SDS2 Connect should be ready to design and edit connections. If connections are not designed and users cannot edit connections, there are a couple things that could be wrong. The first thing to check is the element's structural usage. SDS2 Connect does not design connections for all elements and structural usages. If this is set correctly, then SDS2 Connect was not able to properly modify the Revit family. Open the Material File Mapping window by going to the Options pull-down and selecting Materials. On the left hand side of this window should be displayed the families that are loaded in the current project. At the top we see the SDS2 section type that corresponds to the Revit family and the SDS2 material file that variables are being read from. Below that we can see what variables are available. If there is an I symbol next to the variable. This means that SDS2 Connect needs to add this to the Revit family in order to design connections properly. Back towards the top we see three checkboxes. Modify this family allows SDS2 Connect to make changes to the family. Overwrite existing values will replace Revit values with SDS2 values if there are differences between the family and SDS2's material file. Inject end preparations will create voids in the Revit family so SDS2 Connect can apply end preparations in the model. If you are unable to design or edit connections for a particular family, select it at the left. It's possible SDS2 Connect wasn't able to recognize the section type, so you can select that and then the material file for information to be read from. It is also possible that it didn't recognize a family type. In that case, select the correct section size that corresponds to the Revit family type. Once the correct selections are made, also check Modify this family and decide if you would like SDS2 Connect to overwrite existing values and inject end preparations. Once this is done, connections should be designed and able to edit. 
Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect Initialize Project tutorial.